Greetings Toy Trove and this is part of our mail call series. Um, I'm opening a custom horse today who came from overseas. The horse is in this super sturdy box which actually look at that it's a Briar box. Briar actually uses really nice um, shipping boxes in my opinion. They're nice heavy weight. They uh, only drawback is that they are heavy so um, a lot of the times they'll bring shipping a model uh, up another pound which in the case of customs I definitely recommend getting a sturdier box. OFs, well, maybe in my opinion goes by uh, the value and fragility. So this box has been resized down um, because the briar boxes are a bit oversized and uh, also it takes less filler when um, you cut a box down and I, I actually think it makes the box more structurally sound than um, filling it full of filler. Here. And this one's even double box. So on the inside is another box which is surrounded by foam. This seller did a really awesome job packing the horse. Oh, if I can get the second box out. Difficulty up. There we go. It's another box that's been sitting um, in our stack of boxes for a while, and I'm happy to uh, be able to get the horse out and break the box down. Again, this is a prior custom and done by an artist from overseas. So the box, you can see the horse is in bubble wrap and surrounded by this foam, which I believe is from those um, tool or those gun cases where you have the pick and pluck foam. Really great stuff. I use a number of those uh, tool cases for some uh, harder to pack models. smaller bubble wrap that the horse is just completely encased in. Oops, got this foam. Try not to make a mess here. I'm hoping um, we have something to ship out that I can use that foam and the bubble wrap for since we're unfortunately not able to recycle it here, which is a total bummer. I feel like it's such a waste to throw it in the trash. guy has a rather large rod in this leg um, which looks like it's not removable and um, it was packed well enough that uh, survived the journey just fine. Good job seller. There's this little foam around his tail and under his tail supporting it. I don't want to get it caught in any of the little tendrils. Slide it out. It looks like he has a pretty fragile tail. This is a uh, Briar Custom Allegro by, um, gosh, let me look at the box. Harriet Preston. I first saw him on Instagram and really liked him when he came up for sale. Um, it jumped at the opportunity to purchase him. Again, this is a Briar of Allegro. Uh, he's been customized to be more Baroque. He has a bigger neck and a, a bigger Iberian face. You can see with the more Roman profile. He's this beautiful, rich, blood bay color. He's very pretty. He, I, I really liked the detailing on his neck. He's got wrinkles and veins. He's got this pretty, um, I'm not sure what it's called, the double braid. Uh, that you see on Spanish horses a lot. And then it uh, 
at the bottom it breaks into two little separate strands. His forelock is also braided. He's got a little bit of pink on his muzzle, which is super cute. He's got this nice swishy tail, which is braided at the top, um, and then swishes out into um, just kind of a, a graceful, loose, flowing tail. Really like this guy. He's pretty. Again, this is a Briar Custom Allegro by Harriet Preston. Thanks for watching.